Hello my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope that you're having a lovely day and that you're good to go for today's video because I am so excited. We are unboxing our first advent calendar together for 2020. However, if you are new to my channel and you love advent calendar unboxings, please make sure that you click subscribe and ring that bell because I have them coming hard and fast now. There are so many coming in the next few weeks. So make sure that you're subscribed so you get alerted when all of my future videos go live. And also head over to my Instagram and give me a little follow there too. In today's video guys, the first advent calendar of this season we're going to unbox together is going to be the Boots and Macmillan Charity Advent Calendar which is the 24 Days of Beauty and it is very snazzy looking. I like it and it's available now so I will link below to where you can pick it up. Now the details for this calendar, I thought I would dive right in with all the details hard and fast that I know that you want. This is a 24 day advent calendar so there's nothing on Christmas day which we're okay about. Um, the gift contents in here it says up here are worth 137 pounds and 93 pence now i think the rrp let me check the price yep it's currently 85 pounds so 85 pounds you're getting 137 pounds worth of products inside and because it is one of this year's only charity advent calendars i definitely wanted to give it a try they're donating two pounds from every sale of this calendar to macmillan which is a very worthwhile cause i'm sure you guys will agree now there is tight competition with this year's advent calendars as we know there are so many coming there are so many being launched for the first time I will link below to my beauty advent calendar website where you can keep an eye on all of the news latest info little bits of sneaky peeks that I get before they come so make sure you check that out but the competition is fierce this year and for 85 pounds I do have high hopes charity calendar or not I definitely love to support this one I unboxed it last year I will again link below to that if you want to check it out but I think I picked it up last year when it was half price or in some sort of sale offer towards the later end of advent season so I think that's why I loved it last year because it wasn't maybe it was I can't remember but I definitely think £85 is steep for any advent calendar right now, so I have high hopes. Without further ado, guys, let's dive in to the unboxing. Okay, guys, so the calendar opens like this. It's huge. Uh, I love the navy blue and gold. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a very traditional cardboard style calendar, so it's not the reusable type, but obviously, who, does many people keep theirs? Sometimes they do. And obviously, we've got lots of large looking doors, which I'm very excited to go into. So let's find number one. This is always the really hard part, is finding where to start, but we've got one down here. So we're gonna dive in and have a look at what's in there now. Okay, so first up we've got some Lizelle, which is a very good place to start. This is the Eye Bright Soothing Eye Lotion. Oh, this one sounds quite good. It says, a gentle herbal lotion to soothe and refresh tired, puffy eyes and remove light eye makeup. I mean, that sounds like my absolute no-brainer. I love that. Um, it says that you can pop it on a cotton pad and leave it over your eyes for five to 10 minutes. Perfect little eye treatment. I get really puffy eyes in the morning and when I'm super tired. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl. Never used it. I don't think I've even heard of this one before. Um, anything that's really refreshing like this, I like to keep in the fridge for 10 minutes before I use it because then it's extra cool and super refreshing on the eyes or the skin wherever you're applying your chosen product but it's a 50 mil so a really lovely size there big thumbs up for the first day okay number two now guys okie dokie we have got one of the soap and glory eye masks this is the puffy eye attack it's the under eye brightening hydrogel patches love a good pair of under eye masks i use under eye oh just getting comfy guys um i love um anything that treats my under eye area so these two are right up my street because anything that like soothes takes away the dark under eye bags that i suffer from really badly anything that helps with fine lines and wrinkles or makes me feel like less puffy around that area is a no-brainer for me because my eyes really do show what's going on with me if I'm tired if I'm stressed if I'm not feeling my best my eyes especially under eyes show it so really excited to try that and you can't go wrong with a bit of soap and glory okay number three now guys I still can't believe that we're already in advent season I've been so desperate to start this season and I'm loving it I love 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 advent calendars okay number three guys we've got the protect and perfect intense advanced eye cream again we've got an eye theme going on I quite like that maybe they're going to do that all the way through the calendar we'll see uh, but it's a 15 mil I think that's full size is it full size I don't know but it's definitely the right sort of size um I've used this before it's really great for fine lines and wrinkles so if anti-aging skincare is something that you're looking for obviously it's part of the protect and perfect intense range which as we all know is one of the sellout ranges from number seven and really really put their skincare on the market in recent years so very very excited for you guys to try this if you haven't yet it's one of those things that you may have been thinking about trying but not yet so you get a really good size in here behind day number three okay guys number four now 
Okay, okay. I'm not quite sure what happened with my voice there, but we've got one of the sleek highlighting palettes. I think we got this in last year's calendar, this calendar, did we? I think maybe we did, but I love a good highlighting palette. Anything that's got kind of cream powder highlights those cheekbones. You can also use it on your collarbones, guys, tip of your nose, um, the arch of your lip, just to really give things a little bit of a kick. Great for party season. This sort of palette is really universal in tone as well, so it's a really, really good one for party season. And it is in the shade Cleopatra's Kiss, so full size another thumbs up okay we're on number five now okay we've got another full size well I mean it's a tool so of course it's going to be full size these are some of the must eyelash curlers can never go wrong with a good pair of eyelash curlers these are great I tend to curl mine before I put my mascara on and then if I'm really really desperate for a bit of curl just add a tiny little bit a little bit of pressure on the top of the lids top tip for you guys if you warm them up under your hair dryer before you use them so that the plates are nice and warm they actually will make your lashes hold the lift a little bit longer so top tip for you there Number six over here now, guys. Okay, I can smell it already, and it smells absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is the... Oh, that smells so good. This is the Peaceful Night Pillow Mist by the Botanics range. It's 100 mil, so I think that must be full size. If you want anything with lavender, this has obviously got lavender in it. It's so relaxing. Like, I can smell it already, and I don't even need to spray it. It's literally... Oh, it's just pure lavender. So if you like things that are natural, very um, helping you towards getting a better night's sleep, helping you get a more restful night's sleep, this is the sort of thing you should have. Um, I apply pillow sprays across my pillow and my duvet, but another top tip for you, um, if you spray it over your curtains and leave your window open very, very slightly for 10 minutes before you get into bed, it will actually scent the whole room really gently and really nicely. So it's a better way of getting a more like potent smell in your room that's gonna help you overall with sleep. That's my little top tip for this, but I love Love that and it smells absolutely beautiful okay now we're on number seven we have got something from Jules. this is the muddy brilliant love that name this is the body wash it's a 75 mil lather over wet skin sing rinse well sing some more it's a very very nice everyday body wash if you need something in the shower it's a really really great product to have with you can't fault it it's one of those nice everyday versatile very florally type scents which i think if you just want a quick shower in the morning it's going to be great for that 75 mil great if you're going away or anything like that so yeah thumbs up from that too okay now we are on number eight Okay, we've got some more Soap and Glory. This is the scrub of your life. Absolutely one of my favorite Soap and Glory products. It's basically the best way to buff and gently exfoliate your whole body. If you're a fake tanner like me, you're gonna love it. It's very, very like tinily abrasive. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's got like pink particle beads in it and it lathers like this. Like it's clear when it goes on, but then when you lather it, it goes into like a white color so you can see where you've put it. But if you fake tan, it's great for getting like those built up areas off, um, elbows, knees, wrists, those sorts of areas that need a little bit more exfoliation it's a great one and it's a 50 mil so one of the sorts of products that I buy from Boots religiously anyway so nice little top up in the calendar okay now we're on number nine okay we've got some more um, botanics which is obviously Boots brand this is the illuminating radiance balm which sounds and looks quite cool it says it's a radiance boosting balm infused with hibiscus extract it boosts the radiance and evens the skin tone used alone the formula veils the skin in a beautiful glow while underneath makeup it's an effective smoothing primer brilliant I love anything that is a multi-purpose product so if this primes but also smooths and can be worn alone um, it's my kind of thing it's got 50 mil in there so you'd get a really good amount out of that if it's a face primer you're only going to need like a 2p amount to cover your face and that is absolutely huge for stuff like that so it's a really good size um it says it's suitable for all skin types too so even if you guys have got dry or sensitive skin you can still use it so really like that and i'll be looking forward to trying that underneath my makeup tomorrow okay number 10 now and um, we have got something else from Jules. This is the Elderflower Fragranced Lip Balm. Oh, I love anything Elderflower, like taste, scent, I love it. And that smells beautiful, very, very floral. That You know, like when all of the um, blossom starts to come out at the start of spring, that's what that smells like. This is going straight in my handbag as my daily lip balm. I keep lip balms all over my house and in all of my handbags because I always like to keep my lips really nourished. So 7.5 grams, so perfect for your handbag and it smells beaut. Okay, now we've got number 11 up here, guys. Okay guys, very excited by this. We've got another sleep makeup product. This is their Lip Shop. It's a gloss impact lip gloss. It says it's the shade Partner in Crime. It looks like a very perfect nude tone. Love a good lip gloss. Love to like put a matte lipstick on and then cover with a gloss to give some little like shimmer or definition to my lips, which is the perfect way to do it. It's a full size and I love that shade. I think it's very versatile. So massive thumbs up from me and can't wait to get this on my lips. Okay, now we're on number 12. 
Now, this is going to be very useful after the pandemic that we've all been suffering through. Uh, this is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. So it's the 50 ml. It's their hand cream. Very nourishing, very rich. I don't find that it's too oily or greasy. It does absorb quite quickly. Not the quickest of all of the hand creams that I've ever used, but it does absorb really quickly. And it's not got that sticky residue, which I absolutely hate. Um, I keep a hand cream like a lip balm in all of my handbags. I've got one in my car on my desk because all of the hand washing we've been doing, my hands are super dry. So I'm absolutely swearing by like several days, like using hand cream several times every single day, just to make sure that my hands are nicely nourished because I get really dry patches like in the palms of my hands and on my knuckles. So really glad that we've got a top up of that. 50 mil, another soap and glory product, can't go wrong with them. Okay, now we're on to number 13, which is up here guys. Okay, and here, oh, it smells so good. This, I think this is, is it Jules? Yes, it's a Jules bath fizzer and it smells really nice. Very lavendery, very vanilla-y, perfect for bedtime. It's got stars on it, so I'm assuming it's like a bedtime bath bomb, but it smells absolutely delightful, and it's a 70 gram, so you can pop that in your bath. It's a little egg shape, so super cute there as well. Okay, number 14 now down here. Okay, now we've got the Botanic Peaceful Night Roller Ball in Lavender, which smells very much like the pillow spray that we've already had. Really like that. If you put this on your pulse points, so your wrists, your temples up here, maybe on your neck, again, this should really help to kelp, uh, kelp? <laughs> help you relax and give you a peaceful night's sleep. Anything with lavender is great for relaxing, so I really like that. Haven't used a roller ball with lavender in it for such a long time. I've got a couple of roller balls, like a stress one, um, and then a different one as well from another brand, but haven't tried one with like pure lavender in it before, so I'm I'm quite excited to see how that works in conjunction with the pillow spray so I'll try them both tonight and hopefully I will sleep like a baby. Okay number 15 now. Okay we've got some of the Instant Boost Skin Tonic from Lizelle. I've used this before if you use a toner or a tonic great like middle stage for your skincare regime so after using your micellar water after your cleanser apply um, a soaked cotton pad of this across the face what it does is help to return your skin's natural ph balance clear the pores unclog them it's just a really great step if you get clogged pores um, very very good from Lizelle because you know that it's going to be gentle and it's not going to aggravate your skin and it's a 50 mil so a thumbs up from me on that I'm actually really liking this calendar guys I'm not gonna lie I was a bit dubious when I saw pictures of the contents um, but actually the actual products I'm really liking him okay number 16 now okay we've got another masked beauty tool I was trying to think what to call it then this is a beauty sponge it's one of those double-ended ones it's got a really super point on this end this end looks a little bit chubbier so it's like slightly thinner up here and thicker up here great for under the eyes if you're applying makeup there I use my sponges for my setting powder because it really helps to like push into the fine lines and wrinkles uh, which we won't talk about um, but I love this it's really really solid so it'd be great for um, obviously if you like to wet your sponge before you use it and then make it damp I use mine dry I don't hate me I know a lot of people hate that but I use it dry um, so this one be great for dry or wet applications so really like that and I really like the fact that it's like this cute little violet color it's really pretty okay number 17 is a huge one guys okay so number seven now behind day 17 <laughs> I bet they did that on purpose this is the lift and illuminate triple action serum boost sheet mask really like that love a good sheet mask can't go wrong with that as I've told you every time I talk about sheet masks on my channel during lockdown I used one a day it was crazy I was using face masks all the time my skin was like hello um so my stash of sheet masks has pretty much run out now um so I'm really pleased to start topping it up and this one looks really cool because it's actually got a bit that goes around your neck as well really like that very excited to try that and it says it's one week's worth of age defying serums in one mask hello okay number 18 now guys we're getting towards the end now okay here we've got some of the sleek life proof illuminating facial mist which i've just shaken guys and look looks like pure liquid gold this is a 50 ml it's an alcohol free makeup fixing spray that lasts 12 hours apparently now I don't use these sprays because I have really oily skin and I don't find that they suit me very well but if you like stuff like this you're going to absolutely love it I'd really happily give this a go because of all that shimmer in there it's going to add a nice like glow and illumination to your skin so if you're big onto glowy dewy skin I think this would be one for you um love the fact that this is in here I didn't even know that sleek did this product so this is a new one on me okay number 19 now can you have something from Boots and Soap and Glory that doesn't have the Righteous Butter in? Hello, we've got some Righteous Butter. This is the best body butter from Soap and Glory. I love it. I think it's the first product I tried from Soap and Glory ever way back in the day. So 50 ml, great for using post shower. If you get dry skin, it's great for just kind of smoothing all over after a shower or a bath. It's got that statement smell that you always associate with Soap and Glory. And it's a really good one to always have in your bathroom. So it's a 50 ml, thumbs up from me. Number 20 now. 
Okay, we've got another lip balm. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect Lip Care. This is the 10 mil size, so it's great for using around the lips. If you are kind of in the 50 plus age range, I've heard that this is very good um, for plumping the lines around your lips, making them look a little bit nicer, fuller, just helping with the signs of aging on your lips. So can't go wrong with a bit of number seven. And I do like the fact that we've got a couple of products from the Protect and Perfect range in here. Okay, number 21 now. Okay, we've got some of the Sleek Matte Me Lipstick. This is their matte lip cream. Um, it's very, very matte if you like a matte lip. It's the bittersweet shade, so it's very pink. It's very rosy pink. I've got one exactly this color from Jouer, the brand. It's like a lot more expensive and the color is exactly the same. I use it all the time. I really love this. I've already tried this. I think I got it in a calendar last year. I can't be sure though, um, but it is one of those really versatile shades that works all throughout the summer, spring, autumn, winter. It's a really, really versatile shade throughout the season. So again, full size absolutely love that number 22 now okay behind this door we have got one of the Lizelle muslin cloths um, these are basically the ones that you use with their hot cloth cleanser um, really really good I'm not gonna lie finding that on its own behind a door is a little bit of a dud for me I think I said this last year yeah like you need it with a product like finding this should be a bit like oh great um, I mean, it does give you an indication of what may be coming next. I might be surprised and it not be, but that's a little bit of a dud one for me. I would like to find that with a product. That on its own, yeah, not sure. Okay, number 23, penultimate door. Yes, what did I say? Oh my gosh, it's like I knew. <laughs> Uh, this is the Lizelle Naturally Active. This is the cleanse and polish the hot cloth cleanser that goes with the cloth. I would have liked to find those two together, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is that cleanser that everybody raves about. It is the product that put Lizelle on the map. I think they are most famous for this product. I've used it a lot over the years and I really like it because it's so gentle. So even on days when my skin's broken out, I don't find it upsets things too much. And then when you use it with the flannel or the muslin cloth that comes with it on the day before, if you put that in hot water, that will open the pores and help the product to sink in, sweep everything out. And then as you wash it away, it's going to take all of the dirt and makeup with it. So it's a 30 mil. If you've never tried it, this is the perfect size to try to see how you get on with it. But I think you're going to love it. It's a very, very nice, easy to use product that's good for even sensitive skin type so big fan of this product and really pleased that there's some in the calendar okay last now guys we're on day 24 so let's have a look okay day 24 we've got some of the your good skin this is the i'm trying to find the name of the product actually the pro vitamin overnight cream it's a 50 ml so it's full size it says it nourishes and cares rebalances your skin while you sleep sounds quite good it's formulated with green tea vitamin c e and b5 very very good for like waking the skin up in the morning and making you look like you're nicely radiant and awake and alert first thing in the morning not tried anything from your good skin for about two years now i think um, i tried a serum from them and i quite liked it it was really nice but haven't tried it in a while so love the fact that you get a nice boxed product and it's full size behind the final door in the calendar so guys there we have it that is our first advent calendar unboxed together this is the boots and macmillan beauty advent calendar what do you think let me know your thoughts in the comments below because i love to read them um, as we go through these videos together my thoughts are this as I mentioned in the video I was really really worried about unboxing this one because I didn't want to have to say oh I don't like it or it's not very good because it is a charity calendar and I love that um, but some of the product sneak peeks I'd seen I was a bit like you know it's a lot of money 85 pounds so I had kind of like prepared myself but actually I'm really pleasantly surprised with the products themselves that are in there yes the brands aren't what you would class as premium brands but actually the products are really nice and versatile so I definitely think that redeems it now is it worth 85 pounds considering there's a donation made to charity for every sale I definitely think it's worth supporting for that and we've all known someone go through cancer maybe you know someone who's been supported by Macmillan so from that sense I definitely think I can't say bad things about it um I think it's a nice calendar I I think when it goes down a little bit in value, which hopefully it will 100% snap it up, 85 pounds is very, very high for a price point calendar like this, but I love the products inside and I'm gonna use nearly all of them. So I think it's a really good one. I think it's a nice one. And if you are somebody who loves the Boots Christmas three for two, all the brands and the products that are involved in that, this calendar is gonna be right up your street. So I will link below where you can pick it up. If you wanna grab it, make sure you get in there quick. As with other Boots advent calendars, guys, you can use your Advantage card and get some points on there as well with every spend. So make sure you pop that in at the checkout when you're picking it up. As mentioned at the start of the video, guys, if unboxings and advent calendars are your thing, make sure you click subscribe before you go. Other than that, though, thank you so much for watching my first advent calendar unboxing of this season. I will see you very soon for the next one. Bye.